Hello and welcome to German Ladder, a premium way to learn Dutch. In this E1 course of German for Beginners, Lesson 1, you are going to learn German alphabet, pronunciation and words for each of the letters. I'm your mentor Joseph Volt will be with you and together we are going to learn. First of all, we are going to watch the summary of Lesson 1. Firstly, we are going to learn Deutsch alphabet main 26 letters and words for each letter and secondly we are going to learn three extra letters which are known as umlaute and last of all one more special letter in german alphabet which is known as asset so first of all we are going to start with the alphabet a a please repeat after me so that you can pronounce correctly a B B C C D D E E F F G G Ha Ha E E Yot Yot Ka Ka L L M M N N O O P P Q Q E A E A S S T T U U V V V V X X Ypsilon Ypsilon Set Set And congratulations, you have gone through all the 26 letters of German alphabet. And now we are going to learn words for the each of the German alphabet. First letter is A. It is pronounced like the A in the word astronaut and in the word fa. And the German word for A is apfel. Apfel, which means apple in English. Our next letter is B, which is pronounced like the B in the word banana. And the word for B is banana. Banana, which means banana. Our next letter is C. It is pronounced like the word C in the word eyes. And at the beginning of any word in German, C is pronounced like the word K. The word for C is Kaffee, Kaffee, which means coffee shop. Our next letter is D. D is pronounced like the word D in the word doll. And the German word for D is Deutschland, Deutschland which means Germany. The following word is A. A is pronounced like the word E in the word ten and the word for A is Ente, Ente, which means duck. The next letter is F, which is pronounced like the word F in the word fish and the word for F is 
fisch in Deutsch, which means fish. The next letter is G, which is pronounced like the word go. And the German word for G is Gigafe. Gigafe. As you can see, there is no difference between giraffe and giraffe spelling, but the pronunciation is totally different. The next word is ha, which is pronounced like the word H in the word house, and the German word for ha is house, which also means house. The next letter is E, which is pronounced like the E in the word it and easy. The Deutsch word for E is ED, ED, which means idea. And our next letter is yacht, yacht, which is pronounced like the word Y in the word yogurt, and the Deutsch word for yacht is yogurt. The next letter is K, which is pronounced like the word K in the word king, and the German word for K is Kino, Kino, which means movie theater. The next letter is L, which is pronounced like the word love, and the German word for L is Liebe, Liebe, which means love. Our next letter is M, which is pronounced like M in the word man, and the German word for M is Mann, Mann, which means man. The next letter is N which is pronounced like the word N in the word night and the German word for N is Nacht Nacht which also means night Our next letter is O which is pronounced like the word O in the word orange and the German word for O is Orange Orange which also means orange our next letter is P. P is pronounced like the word P in the word party, and the German word for P is party. Party. The next letter is Q, which is pronounced like the word Q in the word quiz, and the German word for Q is quiz. Quiz. Our next letter is R. There is no equivalent word in English for air, but sometimes it is pronounced like the Spanish a. Ah. And the German word for air is rot, rot, which means red. Our next letter is s. S is pronounced like the word s in the word sun, and the German word for s is sonne, sonne which means sun. Our next letter is T, which is pronounced like the word T in the word T, and the German word for T is T, T, which means T. The next letter is U. It is pronounced like the word U in the word U, and the German word for U is Uhr, Uhr, which means clock. Our next letter is V. V. This letter is pronounced like the word F in English, and the German word for V is Vogel, Vogel, which means bird. The next letter is V. V which is pronounced like the word V in English and the German word for V is Wasser, Wasser, which means water. Our next letter is X, X. It is pronounced like the X in the word xylophone and the German word for X is Zolphone, Zolphone. The next letter is Ypsilon, Ypsilon, 
which is pronounced like the word yoga and the German word for Y is yoga yoga Sat 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 is pronounced like the S in the word bits and we have the example of so so which means zoo we are going to review our lesson till now firstly we learned 26 main letters of German alphabet we learned words for 26 letters we also learned that there is no equivalent word for air we came to know that V in German sounds like F in English we also learned that W in German sounds like V in English now we are going to watch some special characters of German language known as Umlaute Umlaute and there are totally three of them the first one looks like this this is known as A Umlaute having two dots in its top and it is pronounced like A A A Umlaute is pronounced like the E in the word Melen and A in the word H and it is known as A Umlaute the second one is O Umlaute which is pronounced as U, U, and it is the pronunciation like the word we use as girl or flirt. The last umlaut is U umlaut. There is no equivalent word for U umlaut in English. And lastly, we have one more special letter in German word that is as set as set which is known as sharp s or sharp s this is pronounced like the double s in the word kiss and this is the only letter that will never be at the beginning of any word and now we are going to focus on our final review firstly we learned total 30 german letters Besides learning 26 main letters, we also learn 4 extra letters. They are A umlaute, O umlaute, U umlaute and as We also learned that as is the only German letter that will never be at the beginning of a word. That's all for today's lesson. In our next video lesson, we are going to learn diphthongs and consonant pairs of German language. Please subscribe and be with German Lehrer. See you in my next video tutorial. Until then, goodbye.